So hell for me was a um, psychological transformation. Um, a metaphor that I like to use is the metaphor of a caterpillar coming into its cocoon, its body literally being melted and transformed into a butterfly. However, like the essence of that entity is the same. It's, it's the same thing that's um, the form is dissolving and it's being transformed into something new. So that's the pattern that I see. That's like the spiritual pattern, um, which I think is like the purpose of spiritual transformation. So you kind of take that motif and then I see that in different places in the Bible. So uh, my favorite example is probably Jonah and the whale, where you have the old man, Jonah, who's essentially like sucked back into the belly. What is a belly? That is the place where something old is broken down and metabolized into this new energy. And then it's essentially rebirth. You know, we have rebirth out of a belly. So the new creation is rebirth. So that whole transformation, that process that we're seeing, the belly is hell. And if you read the King James Version, it says, out of the belly of hell I cried. So for me, hell is a necessary stop on the journey of transformation. Um, the difference between, say, a caterpillar and humans is the caterpillar, when it comes time for this transformational process to happen, just surrenders to it. It's, it just intuitively knows it's time to make the cocoon now and go from stage one to stage two. As humans, though, um, that can be, uh, obviously, most of us resist that psychological process, and by resisting, it actually kind of makes it hotter and more intense. The experience can be more intense. Um, but yeah, I see hell more in terms of psychological transformation. I had my own experience where I knew in a very psychologically dark place that that was hell. This was before I had any new theological language, but I had an intuitive knowing that I was in the belly of the whale, that it was the place where Jonah was, whether that was a, an historical figure or not, was irrelevant. Um, I understood the the energy contained in the story and where I was on the map. And because I understood the map, so to speak, because I had the map through my, you know, biblical language and these stories that had already been like imprinted in me from my childhood, it gave me the courage to stick with it, to understand that this um, wasn't somewhere that I needed to like flee from or escape from. I understood it as a place of transformation and so I was able to stay there. And so I think it would be really helpful within the Christian tradition to um, you know, not only get away from eternal conscious torment and the idea of hell as like a geographical place, but to actually understand what we mean psychologically when, when we talk about it and to understand that it's like a necessary stop on any major transformational journey. Um, I think that that would be really helpful in terms of, you know, transcending the argument of is it real, is it not real?